Hello everyone, good day for all. Welcome back to another episode of Ayur Samveda, a smart way to Ayurveda. I am Dr. Kavya Vasudev and you are watching Study Ashtanga Hridaya series. Please subscribe to my channel and enable the bell button for continuous updates in Samhita. In the last videos, we were discussing about Dvithopakramaniya Adhyaya and we have seen the two types of Upakramas are Lankhana and Brimana. And also we have discussed about the types of Lankhana and Brimana and in the conditions which we have to administer the Lankhana and Brimana. If you have not watched those videos, please click the i button to access it. Moving with the rest of the details of Lankhana and Brimana. So Brimana Labha, that is the benefits of doing the Brimana Karma is being explained. Brimide syad balam pushtis tat sadhyamaya samkshayaha. Brimide syad balam pushtihi tat sadhya amaya samkshaya. That is when we are doing the brimana karma, the benefits are it will be able to uh, attain the strength. That is uh, strength or bala will be attained. Then pushti that is the nourishment of the body will be attained. And sadhya amaya samkshayaha. That is it has already been mentioned which all conditions this brimana karma is indicated. So in such avasthas or in such conditions if we are applying this brimana karma, it will be able to cure that disease conditions or it will be helping in managing such disease conditions so uh, bala and pushti will be attained or it helps in uh, attaining bala and pushti and also curing or managing the diseases which are indicated for the brimana karma next is lankhana labha that is the benefits of doing lankhana karma vimala indriyata sargo malanam lakhavam ruchihi should Shutrit Sahodeha, Shuddha Hradeod Gara Kantada, Vyadhi Mardava Mulsaha, Tandra Nashascha, Lenkite, Vimala Indriyata, Sargo Malana, Lakhavam Ruchihi, Shutrit Sahodeha, Shuddha Hradea Udgara Kantada, Vyadhi Mardavam Ulsaha, Tantra Nasha Cha Lankhite. So the benefits of Lankhana or what we get after doing the Lankhana Karmas are Vimala Indriyata that is the keenness and clarity of the sense organs that is all the sense organs or the Indriya and Indriyarthas will be in the proper functioning. Sargo Malana that is expulsion of Malas that is both the Doshas as well as the Malas will be properly eliminated out as the Shodhana Karma is also coming under the uh, Lankhana Karma all the doshas as well as the malas will be expelled out of the sharira then lakhava lankhana will bring about the lightness of the sharira ruchihi that is good taste uh, perception or increase in the taste will be uh, happening kshutrit sahodaya that is the uh, appearance of hunger and thirst as uh, ruchi will be occurring and akni deepti will be happening and uh, kshut and trit will be uh, present Shuddha Hridaya that is feeling of purity in the chest region that is all the heaviness of the Sharira will be gone and he will, uh, the person will be feeling very much lightness and feeling of purity or clarity in all the body parts especially in the Hridaya region. Then Shuddha Udgara that is clear belching that is the digestion uh, process will be proper he will be having the proper Kshut and Thrid and he will be having the proper Ruji and even the belchings or the Udgaras will be clear. And Shuddha Kandada that is clear thought there will not be any uh, excess kapha or accumulations or secretions won't be there or uh, cotting uh, won't be present and clear thought will be present. And Vyadhi Mardavam that is uh, when we are uh, doing this Lankhana Karma in a diseased patient or diseased condition all those which are being indicated for Lankhana Karma that diseases will be getting cured or managed by the proper Lankhana Karma. Then Ulsaha that is increase of enthusiasm and Tantra Nasha that is loss of uh, stupor or laziness will be gone. These are the Labha that is these are the benefits by doing with uh, Lankhana Karma. Then the complications. If we have done the Lankhana or Brahmana Karma, there are certain complications which can occur if we are not properly administering the Karmas. So the complications if we are not properly doing the Lankhana or Brahmana Karmas are explained. Anapekshida matradi sevide kurutastute adisthaulyadi karshadin vakshende techa saushathaha rupam tairewa cha nyayam adibrimida lankhite. Anapekshita matradi sevite kurutaha tu te ati staulyadi karshyadin vakshyante te cha sa aushataha rupam taihi eva cha nyayam ati brimida lenkhite. 
so the complications which can occur if we are not properly uh, administering this langhana or brahmana karma is mentioned that is anapekshita matradi sevide kurutaha tu te adisthaulyadi karshyadi so previously it has been mentioned the person who has to be done langhana karma should not go for brahmana karma but even though the person is being indicated for brahmana he can go for the langhana karma also but whatever langhana or brahmana we are performing it should be based on the desha kala matra etc has been mentioned so if we are not following this matradi or if we are not following the proper manner in which we have to administer so that can lead to various kinds of conditions such as adisthaulyadi karshyadi that is adisthaulya and adikarshya are the two results which can occur if we are excessively using this uh, brahmana and lankhana karmas and vakshyante techa saushataha so this uh, later part of this uh, chapter is being dealing with the lakshanas of atisthaulya and adikarsha and how we can manage this is also being mentioned this atisthaulya means the obese people or over obese people and adikarsha means over depleted or over uh, lean people are considered as adikarsha karsha so if we are doing it uh, adi brahmana then it will lead to adi sthaulya and if we are going for adi langhana then it will lead to adi karsha rupam taihi eva cha knyayam adi brahmida lankhite so based on the rupas or the lakshanas which we uh, have told to determine this adi sthaulya and adi karsha based on that we can understand that adi brahmida and adi lankhita lakshanas also that is because of adi brahmana or ati yoga of brahmana excessive uh, administration of brahmana a person will become ati sthaulya and as well as uh, because of the ati yoga or excessive usage of lankhana karma a person will become ati krsha or ati karshata will be occurring so based on the lakshanas of adi sthaulya and adi karsha we can say that it is the ati yoga of brahmana and lankhana next is brahmana ati yoga so already ati sthula has been mentioned other than that there are certain other conditions which can also bring up uh, by the brahmana ati yoga so that is being mentioned here ati sthula apachi meha jwara udara bhagantaran kasa sanyasa krishrama kushtadi nadi daruna so ati sthula apachi meha jwara udara bhagantaran kasa sanyasa krishra ama kushtadin ati daruna so these are the various diseases in uh, by which uh, the ati brahmana uh, can occur the ati sthaulya that is profound obesity or over obese apachi that is lymphadenitis or it is a glandular uh, condition meha the diabetic condition or meha are of different types and one among this meha is what we are correlating with that of diabetic so here again kapha and medo dushtis are more ejvara fever udara enlargement of uh, abdomen then bhagantara fistula uh, in ano and kasa kaf sanyasa a condition in which the patient or uh, the person will be losing his consciousness then uh, krichra that is mutra krichra that is uh, dysuria or uh, painful micturition ama that is the disorders related to digestive activities or agni uh, janya vikaras ama kushtadin atidarunan and the skin diseases which are very uh, dreadful or very chronic in nature or severe in nature these are the lakshanas or these are the diseases which can manifest if we are going for the adi brahmana അതിഭ്രമണ ചികിത്സ ഇസ് മെൻഷൻ നെക്സ്റ്റ് തത്ര മേധോ അനില ശ്ലേഷ്മനാശനം സർവമിഷ്യതെ കുലദ്ധ ജൂർണ ശ്യാമാക യവമുദ്ഗ മധൂതകം മസ്തു ദണ്ഡാഹദാരിഷ്ട ചിന്താശോധന ജാഗരം തത്ര മേധോ അനില ശ്ലേഷ്മനാശനം സർവം ഇഷ്യതെ കുലദ്ധ ജൂർണ ശ്യാമാക യവ മുദ്ഗ മധൂതകം മസ്തു ദണ്ഡാഹത അരിഷ്ട chinda shodhana jagaram so various therapeutic modalities has been mentioned to, uh, how to tackle the diseases which has been occurred because of atiyoka of brahmana so tatra medo anila shleshma nashanam sarvam ishyate so all the time we have to manage this adi brahmana uh, conditions by meda anila and shleshma nashanam that is the drugs or the uh, therapies aharas viharas or aushathas which will help in reducing or pacifying the medo dhadu 
അനില ദോശ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് വാദദോശ ആൻഡ് ശ്ലേഷ്മദാശ് ദോശ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് കഭദോശ സോ ദ ഡ്രഗ്സ് ഓർ ദ ആഹാരാസ് വിഹാരാസ് ഓർ ഔഷധാസ് വിച്ച് ഹെൽപ്സ് ഇൻ പെസിഫൈയിങ് ദ മേധോധാതു വാദ ആൻഡ് കഭദോഷ ഹാസ് ടു ബി അഡ്മിനിസ്റ്റേർഡ് ഫോർ ദ ഡിസീസസ് ഓർ ദ കണ്ടീഷൻസ് ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് ദ അതി ഭ്രഹ്മണ then the aharas or the dravyas which we can use to manage this adi brahman uh, uh, disease conditions are kulatha that is whole gram jurna it is a uh, variety of cereal shamaga millet yava barley mudga green gram madhudakam that is uh, honey water that is uh, honey which is being uh, mixed with water and a preparation made mastu ve that is the supernatin uh, sort of upper portion of the uh, curd dandahada it is a type of buttermilk arishta the fermented beverages uh, then uh, coming the other uh, viharas the such as chinda that is indulging in vari shodhana the purification therapies that is the management and jagara awakening at the night that is not sleeping in the night time so these are the uh, few uh, chigilsas which are being mentioned moving the other managements madhuna tribhalam lihyat guduji mabhayam ghanam rasanchanasya mahatah panchamoolasya guggulokho shilajadu prayogascha sa agni mandharaso hitah madhuna tribhalam lihyat guduji abhayam ghanam rasanchanasya mahatah panchamoolasya guggulokho shilajadu prayogah cha sa agni mandharaso hitah so various uh, medicinal preparations are being mentioned here tribhala guduchi abhaya khanam these all dravyas has to be mixed with madhuna lihya that is uh, the powder of tribhala guduchi abhaya and khana has to be mixed with madhu and that has to be licked that is uh, one chigilsa mentioned another one is akni mantha rasa ha- can be taken with either with rasanchana or mahataha panchamula that is brahad panchamula then gugulu or shilajatu so either uh, the tribhala guduji abhaya ghana can be mixed with madhu and can be taken as lick uh, or uh, leha preparation and next is akni mandarasa can be uh, taken along with rasanjana brahat panchamula gugulu and shilajatu another set of uh, chigilsa for Br- adi brahmana വിടങ്കം നാഗരം ക്ഷാരഹ കാലലോഹരജോ മധു യവ ആമലക ചൂർണം ച യോഗോ അതിസ്ഥൗല്യ ദോഷജിത് വിടങ്കം നാഗരം ക്ഷാരഹ കാലലോഹരജോ മധു യവ ആമലക ചൂർണം ച യോഗോ അതിസ്ഥൗല്യ ദോഷജിത് സോ ചൂർണ ഓഫ് വിടങ്ക നാഗര ക്ഷാര കാലലോഹരജ യവ ആൻഡ് ആമലക മിക്സ്ഡ് വിത്ത് മധു ക്യാൻ ബി ഗിവൻ ഫോർ ദ പേഷ്യൻറ്റ് ഓർ ദ പേഴ്സൺ ഹു ഇസ് ബീങ് അഫ്ലിക്റ്റഡ് വിത്ത് ദ ഡിസീസസ് ഓഫ് അതി ബ്രഹ്മണ നെക്സ്റ്റ് എഗെയിൻ സെറ്റൻ ഫ്യൂ മോർ റെസിപ്പീസ് ഓർ മാനേജ്മെൻറ്റ് ഹാസ് ബീൻ മെൻഷൻ വ്യോഷ കട്വി വരാ ശിഗ്രു വിടങ്ക അതി വിഷാസ്ഥിര ഹിഗ്രു സൗവർച്ചല അജാജി യവാനി ധാന്യ ചിത്രകാഹ നിഷേ ബൃഹത്യോ ഹപുഷ പാഠാമൂലം ച കേബുകാത് ഏഷാം ചൂർണം മധുകൃതം തൈലം ച സ ദശാംശകം സത്തുപിഹി ഷോഡശഗുണേർയുക്തം പീതം നിഹന്തീത് അതിസ്ഥൗല്യാധികാൻ സർവാൻ രോഗാൻ അന്യാംശ തദ്വിധാൻ ഹൃദ്രോഗ കാമല ശ്വിത്ര ശ്വാസകാസ ഗളഗ്രഹാൻ ബുദ്ധിമേധാ സ്മൃതികരം സന്നസ്യ അഗ്നേശ ദീപനം സോ വ്യോഷ കട്വി വര ശിഗ്രു വിടങ്ക അതിവിഷ സ്ഥിര ഹിങ്കു സൗവർച്ചല അജാജി യവാനി ധാന്യ ചിത്രക നിഷേ ബൃഹത്യൌ ഹപുഷ പാഠാ മൂലം ച കേബുഗാത് ഏഷാം ചൂർണം മധു ഘൃതം തൈലം ച സ ദശ അംശകം സപ്തുപിഹി ഷോഡശ ഗുണേഹി യുക്തം പീതം നിഹന്തി തത് അതി സ്ഥൗല്യാധികാൻ സർവാൻ രോഗാൻ അന്യാ ച തത് വിധാൻ ഹൃദ്രോഗ കാമല ശ്വിത്ര കാസ ശ്വാസ കാസ ഗളഗ്രഹാൻ ബുദ്ധി മേധ സ്മൃതികരം സന്നസ്യ അഗ്നേഹേ ച ദീപനം സൊ ദീസ് ആർ ദ അതർ ചികിത്സാസ് വിച്ച് ആർ മെൻഷൻ ഫോർ അതി ബ്രഹ്മണ ചൂർണ ഓഫ് വ്യോഷ കട്വി വര ശിഗ്രു വിടങ്ക അതിവിഷ സ്ഥിര ഹിഗ്രു സൗവർച്ചല ഹിങ്കു സൗവർച്ചല അജാജി യവാനി ധാന്യക ചിത്രക നിഷേ ദറ്റ് ഇസ് ടു ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് നിഷ 
brihati brihatyo that is again uh, the two varieties of brihati then hapusha patha mula and kebuka so the churna that is the powder of all these uh, drugs has to be taken it has to be mixed with madhu ghrida and taila that is all the powders should be in equal quantity and it should be mixed in equal quantities of madhu ghrida and taila and saktu bihi shodasha gunehi yuktam and saktu that is the uh, powder again uh, the larger saktu or different uh, powders are there that is being prepared uh, frying the first frying the um, a uh, thing a uh, dravya and then uh, making it powder so such uh, saktu has to be taken in 16 part and uh, this has to be mixed that is the churna of this vyosha katvi vara etc has to be taken it has to be mixed with madhu ghrida and taila and later it has to be mixed with 16 parts of saktu also and this saktu or this preparation when taken pitam mihanti adisthaulya adikan sarvan rokan so if this preparation is being taken it It will helps in reducing the adi sthaulya and also the other diseases which are being caused by adi brimana such as already mentioned apachi meha jvara uttara etc so this is the uh, indication or this is the benefit of using this particular uh, preparation or yoga that is when we are using this uh, yoga or preparation it will help in reducing the adi sthaulya as well as all the diseases which are being mentioned uh, which will be caused by the adi brimana and also the other benefits of this uh, prayog or this preparation anya cha tadvithan and uh, not only this atisthaulya and already men- mentioned diseases other diseases which are similar to this can also be cured by this preparation and hridroga heart diseases kamara that is jaundice then shvitra that is leukoderma or a skin uh, disease then shwasa dyspnea that is breathing difficulty or asthma such all things we can correlate then kasa cough then galagrahan that is uh, obstruction in the throat then buddhi that is it, it helps in improving these all are the disease conditions in which we can use this preparation other than that it helps in improving the buddhi that is power of thinking then metha it helps in improving the intelligence and smritikara that is helps in improving the memory and sannasya agne hecha deepana it also helps in kindling the weekend fire or it helps in agni deepti that is improving or increasing the agni which is has been very low so these are the various uh, benefits if we are taking this particular preparation which is being mentioned for the adibrahmana chikitsa Today we have discussed a portion of Dvithopakramaniya Adhyaya and we'll be discussing the same chapter in the upcoming videos. For more updates make sure you subscribe the channel and follow the Instagram account. Thank you. See you in the next video. Till then, bye.